the takeaway is India has a glorious maritime heritage across the subcontinent, a great event, a marquee maritime event for India, what has been very appropriately called as Amrit Kal by our yes. Honorable Prime Minister. The vision. Business across the Indian shores. Thank you so much, sir, for gracing this great Global Maritime Summit 2023 third edition. First, I want to know from you, how has the experience been here? For this particular Maritime Edition, it's been grand, it's been welcoming. How was the experience? Well, thank you first of all uh, for having us here. Uh, it has been a grand spectacle. The experience has been absolutely exceptional. It feels amazing to be here with the entire Maritime community, yeah. with the entire Ministry of Shipping, the ports, shipping and waterways. A great event, a marquee Maritime event for India very delighted and very proud to be a part on behalf of Adani Ports and SEZ yeah. to be in this edition. We'd seen the first edition, the second one during the course of COVID was virtual. The third edition is indeed exceptional. Wonderful meetings, great outreach, multiple network opportunities with business, with regulators, with authorities who are the movers and shakers of Maritime India. So before we all know how Adani Port and SEZ has contributed to the Indian maritime space, it's a huge contribution by you guys and we quite appreciate that. Before I get to your contribution, what has been a major takeaway? In this whole summit, it has increased in folds in terms of invites from dignitaries outside. What is your takeaway major that you take to this maritime summit? As I told you, the takeaway is India has a glorious maritime heritage across the subcontinent. It has, which is today, on the sides of this great event, I can say, is the harbinger of a wonderful maritime tradition that is opening up now. Wow. And as we enter what has been very appropriately called as Amrit Kal by our yes. Honorable Prime Minister, the vision and the maritime vision that ensues with that and the fact that India's moment in the world has actually arrived, we collectively as Indians and we in the Adani ports consider this our responsibility and a great opportunity to take care of this moment and place India in the appropriate spectrum, in the appropriate world order. And as Indian manufacturing and trade goes, we are aware of the responsibility that Indian trade considers to be to root itself through our many exim gateways. You know, you are aware that nearly 90% of cargo of India yes. by volume and nearly 70% by value is rooted through the Indian ports. Yes. And when I think, when we say the Indian ports and they've handled, the entire Indian ports have handled close to 1430 yes. million metric tons in the last financial year. And we are a nearly quarter of that. It's extremely, it's a great privilege, very humbling, but we are aware of the responsibility and we shall make all the steps necessary to rise to the occasion, not to disappoint Indian trade areas. Bilkul, you're not to disappoint for sure, but one last, uh, how do we look at the Ani port? Just one or two uh, given here that, what are the next steps that you immediately comes to your mind from leaving here? This is what we're gonna do for sure. Anything you can share? Truly world-class, aware of the responsibility as we enter a very inflection period in history about a transition of energy. So we are aware that we will be getting out from conventional energy into non-conventional you know, uh, energy sources. And at Adani Port, we have sworn, apart from handling 500 million metric tons by 2025 and about a billion tons by 2030, more importantly, we shall do all this with a good biodiversity footprint. We shall do all this by becoming carbon neutral by 2025 and by achieving net zero by 2040. Wow. That's so these, a are, these, are, these are very important for us. As we say, we would like to do business and the tagline is growth with goodness. And wherever we go to do business across the Indian shores, 
right from Gujarat through to each of the maritime states where we are represented. The journey has well begun in Gujarat and as I speak, we are looking to develop more ports across the peninsula and across the shores of India. We are aware of the responsibility that each place we go, we leave a green footprint, a footprint that is sustainable and that as citizens of the world and as citizens of the maritime community, we are bequeathing a safe secure, sustainable future for the coming generation. I think you're quite answered how sustainable will be your responsibility going ahead. Just one last message that you have for the ministry for hosting this Global Maritime Summit and many what are you looking forward to ahead? Many congratulations to the Honourable Minister, many congratulations to the officials of the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways. Very well done, an amazing event as I said in the beginning, yes. a splendid spectacle to get everybody on one common platform. You have across various ministries, many, many honorable ministers who have come and graced the occasion. You would have officials across the industry who have come. And everywhere I go, I sense a sense of great anticipation and the spirit is entirely infectious throughout. Wherever I've gone, I've come out enthralled by everybody smiling. There's great excitement, I think. Many congratulations to everyone who has worked to make this event. Thank you so much Resounding for being part success. of this summit and gracing it and taking a country forward with the contribution you make in the centre. Thank you so much Thank for having us. Good Thank day. You. Thank you.